So it's Saturday morning now and I'm gonna head back to the clinic for some patients and my seniors class. And then I'm gonna head to the gym to do another workout, maybe 8K, another 8K. And, um, and then back to the clinic for some more patients and then maybe some Lego. Oh, and I have to do my what, what, what. I can't forget my... Saturday, we get to change our bed sheets. Wrong. Every Saturday, I get the boys to help me to change our bed sheets. This is my room, but they already changed their rooms. Uh, the boys have a bunk bed that I wish I had a bunk bed growing up, but my parents thought it frivolous that an only child gets a bunk bed. And I also wish I had Spider-Man sheets and Stormtrooper sheets. So thank you, Pottery Barn, for listening to the wishes of a previous 10 year old girl. So we're gonna put this bed sheet on. It's a bed skirt, uh. under, <laughs> under. Under, okay. Because we have to hide all these Lego sets that someone placed under our bed. I wonder who did that, Dad? You know, he thinks we don't know that they're in there. They're no, under, I there. just put it there because, I'm... it's not a secret. <laughs> Uh, that if means it was you a secret, I'd put it somewhere else. That means you can look but at it? Okay, book. let's look at it! Let's look at no, it! No, let's look at it. <laughs> oh, there we, we go. Up? It's nicely done. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's nicely done. I don't know. You don't like it? It's not quite, you know, the Weston. What are you doing, Mason? I'm running! Yay! Oh. <laughs> oh. Hi. What are you doing? Is that your sock? You gonna give me your sock? Oh. Where'd you go? <laughs> Nothing like fresh bed sheets off my dirty children. Yeah, I'm not dirty. I just changed the box. Last night, that was like eight hours ago. Okay, let's go to so I am just preparing my children so I that won. one day I, I will won. have future daughter-in-laws who will be thankful that they have husbands Thank who know how to change bed sheets. I know how to change bed Nick. sheets. Nick! Nick! Hayden! And that's like fresh bed sheets. Hayden! At least once a week. Hayden. Hayden. So everybody will have to be lovely and smelling good tonight. Oh, yay! Go. Don't eat it. Don't so that means I can stay with someone? What? What? Okay, okay. Mason, back. what did you want? Um, the minifigure box. Are oh, you gonna make another minifigure? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. What are you making? A minifigure. Oh. So I stepped back on the scale this morning and 178. One pound down from 179. So, successful day, I guess. One pound is good. Now I have 39 to go to get to 139? Probably not. I don't even know if I just lost water. But today is Saturday, so it's a big temptation day in terms of eating unhealthy. But we'll try, but tomorrow is Mandarin, the buffet, so not sure how I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna try to load up on some sort of fruits and vegetables rather than the deep fried chicken and the pizza. Sushi, sushi, I like sushi, but then there's a lot of rice there. But we'll see. So I'm gonna head back to the clinic now. Mason is just making his minifigure. Right, Mason? And yes, that's where I'm gonna go. Are you Instagramming again? No, we are just going to put this debate once and for all. Is it the blue and black dress or the white and gold dress? Oh, that's not really gold. But you know. What did you see? I saw white and gold because I'm an optimist. I and saw I'm white and gold Sunday. too. Oh, apparently we're in the minority. My patients no. saw blue and... Oh my gosh, a majority of my coworkers saw blue and black. So I'm just quickly Instagramming here. It is early um, Saturday morning. And I figured, you know, I might as well put an end to this blue, black, white, gold dress. I saw the white dress. So there's my Instagram uh, page of this blue, black, red, gold, white debate. Uh, we'll see what happens. I just like to do fun things like this, I guess, in the morning. And now I have to make breakfast. We're going to head up to the gym. Maybe see uh, if uh, Nick is actually there running. I should run. And then I got to do one of these today because I have been so busy at work. I haven't had a chance to do it at night. Um, usually the weekends, we just kind of hang out. I usually am the one who says, let's go to the museum. Let's go to the zoo. I'll go to the zoo and the museum too. It's freezing. And now because it's so cold outside, I just don't want to do that. I'll so. go to the museum. Uh, maybe Mark. <laughs> Endless fun.
fun in this household. <laughs> this is what Tristan does to Hayden for his morning exercises. How to catch a floating balloon. Who needs your treadmill? All right, my last patient just left. I finished vacuuming the clinic. So I'm gonna head to the gym to get my workout in and then have a few more patients after that and then maybe some Lego. So we're on our way to the gym now. It's just after nine and uh, we usually try to get there as early as we can to avoid the crowds. It's tourist season at the gym. I call it tourist season anyway, because the number of people in the gym quadruples around January for New Year's resolution. We're regulars, so it really uh, isn't fun for us to find parking, to even get there. It's so crowded for the machines and there's like a ton of children, but uh, especially on Saturday mornings, it is crazy. So we're trying to get there as early as we can, get our workout in, our playtime in, and out of there before peak happens around 11. And who knows, we can probably run into Nick running. I have to drive extra slow at this part going to the gym because I got my first speeding ticket a month ago. It was horrible. I just wanted to go to yoga and um, 80 kilometers per hour is my perfect speed like to maintain my homeostasis and I guess I was in a 50 zone. <laughs> So this is only the third time I'm going this week, which makes me very sad. This work thing is really getting into the way of my uh, work effort. And uh, there's Gerald, you know, sharing how much he weighs. Well, that's not happening with me. I think it's just how I fit in my... So here we are. I am going to try to do some weights, and I'm going to do the uh, Steermaster. Or I can just sit and read a book while these people run around. Let's go grab your vehicle and let's go and push. Come on. No, 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 no. pretty big place the kids have about like three areas to play they have a uh, this soft padded place where they play a tag um, the little kitties go the little infants go to this more secluded area where they can dance and play and then the bigger kids get this big gym sometimes they put a bouncy castle in it or they play basketball soccer uh, roll around I guess he's actually running So a little disappointed with my workout today. I was not able to get eight kilometers in. I wasn't even able to get five kilometers in. Three kilometers today was my limit. I don't know, I just kind of felt a little weak. I'm not used to the Titan diet and I've been through this before where, I don't know, I just couldn't get through the workout. So we'll try again another day, eight kilometers, but I'm gonna head home, get some lunch. So here I'm at Lifetime. I finally got myself changed and I'm on my Stairmaster which is probably the fastest calorie torch burning session bang per minute. I am absolutely drenched after only 20 minutes, so I'll try to do 40 minutes of this. I don't think I have much time to do the weight tonight, uh, so I will do this. See, I'm actually blessed this already. It's actually good training should you want to do the race to go up the CN Tower, which I did a few years ago and will not do again. So I am not training for that. But right behind me, you'll see like people doing high intense interval training, which is also a very good way to work out. I'll see you in a bit when I am not so gross or breathless, but uh, very fun Stairmaster training session. So we're done gym, two hours of workout and fun. Yay. Now we gotta get some food grocery shopping and, play some video and games. you know I try not to do this in the weekend but we seem to always run out of milk or egg or cheese or bread or veggies you're right my mom's here okay well we can get Costco or La Bus that's the next debate so uh, we're gonna get a car wash because I just want to wash this winter off of us 
while the weather is not minus a hundred. So we are behind like with ten cars. People. Yeah. But I figured with number two and number three fast asleep behind us, it might be actually a nice peaceful wait here in line for a car wash. I get to read my book. And we're getting a roll of the rims and we better win that car, right? So we're finally in the car wash with number one, two, and three all asleep. It's lovely and peaceful car wash. I was able to uh, read, I think about 75 pages just waiting. So lovely Saturday. Oh, are you awake, number one? What you doing? My art. Why are you I should drawing? Really finish my book. Wow. Robin! Where did you buy this? What? Did you buy this or did you draw it? Okay, you're being silly now. Looks nice. Thanks. So it's time to do some more what, what, what questions. And these questions are from August 2014. They're the next five questions on the list. So I'm going to do them right now. So let's take these guys out. Get my brick adjuster, what, 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 sink fig all ready. So it's all set up here. And so I just press the record button. Hello, YouTube. It's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of What What What. And today, all right, five What 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 videos all done. Now it's time to edit. <laughs> 